system, I do not know what it was. You're flying along at 600 miles an hour, 20 feet above the earth, and the flames are licking up around your feet. You've got no option now but to eject out of the aircraft. You pull a handle and the cockpit explodes around you. You go through those flames, past that confusion, into fear. You're tumbling like a sycamore leaf in a 600 mile an hour wind. There's panic, there's a crack as the parachute opens, and then there's silence. Yes, I was shot down. Yes, it was an unpleasant time. We sit back and we think, how on earth am I going to survive this? My life is now going to change immeasurably. But in many ways, it's going to change for the better. When we initially look at our disadvantage, whatever it is, that, you know, people's companies go through change, redundancies, restructuring, all of those sort of things, we initially sit down in almost a sense of shock and we think, well, I can't do anything now. I have to wait and see what's going to happen to me now. But you don't have to do that because of those inner reserves that we already have. You can grab that change and you can turn it to your advantage. What you learn from dealing with adversity is that you have an immense amount of inner reserves. You have those strengths that you didn't know existed until you are put to that test. Whatever the test is, be it big or be it small, you don't discover those inner reserves that help you on the way. We all go through various life-changing experiences, through whether it's our professional work or our private life. That if you just look at my own specific example, if you look at those pictures from Iraqi TV that most people thought would lead me to be uh, changed forever, well, I was changed forever, but I was changed forever for the better because everything that was bad about those seven weeks in captivity, I've now used to my advantage. I think that the skills that you can bring to that process of dealing with change are the attributes that we all have within us already. But it's not until you're confronted by change or adversity of any kind that you discover those skills. And it's a process of looking at that change, looking at what you think is a pretty hard time in your life and saying, now what can I do? How can I now turn that to my advantage? Everybody that I've met, everybody that I've worked with, that has come up with disadvantage or with change, major or minor, has always managed to make something good come out of that in the end.